Amazon right. started with books. The internet started with email and people are like, you know, well, I'm already writing letters. It's not any more efficient. I don't know how to do this. Well, eventually the internet wasn't just email. It was so much more. And that's really where we're at. You know, in real estate, you've got history to go, go by. Mm -hmm. You don't have a whole lot of history in crypto or blockchain or any of that. You don't, you just don't have, you, you, you don't have a lot of time that you can go back and, and evaluate where it's going and what it's doing. So how do you, um, how do you hedge against that? Yeah. So when we're processing history, history is great to learn from. And it's great to help assess what could be where we're going. But at the same time, we have to, we also have the information that is today. And then when we're looking into the future, I mean, plain and simple, everything into the future is a speculation that has variables outside of everyone's control, right? right? We all love real estate because we believe it's real property. They're not making any more of it and people are always going to need it. Right. Okay. That's why we love real estate, right? We're on the same page with that, right? Yeah, right. yeah. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then that's our historical anchor. And as an investor, when we are as a firm, we're processing this as a total portfolio. Mm -hmm. So we have to anchor our portfolio with a level of that historical certainty. And then on the other side, we're looking at it, what is transitioning in the market? How will it transition? And to what level do we want to participate? And so by no means am I telling people to leave real estate and go into crypto because I still love real estate and we are expanding in real estate. And um, diversity is good. Mm -hmm. And then whenever <laughs> I process new markets, the crypto market actually allows opportunity at tangible asset even though it's digital it is a real life verifiable thing that you have the thing right it's not it's not just a number on a ledger you actually own a piece of that block right and mm -hmm. that is verifiable so i'm i'm able to actually hold property if i wanted to i could take that offline and nobody could touch it right yeah but then i have to look at the appreciation value and potential and then I ask myself, okay, what portion of capital, time, resource, energy do we want to put into this newer technology? So we've spent the last few years diving in. And after the research, we came to the point of believing that this will be something that is here to stay. And if it is here to stay, to what level am I interested in participating? And then with that participation, I'm going to continue to learn and grow and then my allocation will adjust accordingly and so that's going to be different for each individual investor but you know elon musk basically came out and you know tesla spacex and elon personally all moved billions of dollars into crypto you know over the last couple of years and he basically came out and he said i reached a point where i realized i could either watch it happen or i could participate and you mean you mean i could watch it happen or force it to happen. Yeah, control it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's a whole nother topic of uh, Elon's tw Twitter, right? It's a uh, <laughs> entertainment on, on that. Um, but, um, but yeah, with any new technology, the only way something really takes is that people need it and people continue to use it, right? Same thing with Facebook, right? Same thing with Amazon. Amazon right. started with books. The internet started with email, right? And people are like, you know, well, I'm already writing letters. It's not any more efficient. I don't know how to do this. Well, eventually the internet wasn't just email. It was so much more, right? And that's really where we're at is we're at a place where we know that just, just on in an individual coin, millions of transactions are already taking place on a daily basis. This isn't, this isn't like we hope it'll happen in the future. It's already happening. Right, and right. So that it's actually the fastest adopted technology in history. And we're only going more digital and, you know, the blockchain technology, figuring out where and how you want to invest is different than figuring out whether or not you should invest. And gotcha. we've arrived at the place where we absolutely determined we should invest. And then we spent the time on where to invest. And that's that's really where we spend our time as a team is determining where to invest now, because we've already fully committed to the fact that we believe you should invest. <music>